Hey everybody, Hooker TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license. No shot on his 21st birthday. Uh, no rental. He ain't rented nothing. He ain't nothing. So everything that we do and, and it's easy to us, his kids is never going to see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, Pookie TVX, Common Sense. Shout out Willie D, man. Shout out Willie D. Did y'all hear about that goddamn Quincy Jones, man? Y'all hear about that goddamn Quincy? What the fuck? I need to get old, and he letting the cat out the goddamn bag. He, he, <laughs> now it's all coming together now, man. It's all coming together. From Michael Jackson, Tevin Campbell, Will Smith, this nigga fucking everybody. I mean, I mean, shit. Put, put Will in a gay movie. Put him in a gay movie, his first jump off, he in a goddamn gay flick. Fuck. Boy, Chris be fucking y'all around for so goddamn long. Now y'all should believe Tupac. When he said that Quincy asked him to do that shit to him, man. And nobody wanted to listen. No, not Quincy. No, not Quincy, man, please. Please, I wonder how many people he done fucked in that, um, that big ass video he made. We are the world, we are the children and shit. With his magic stick. Swinging it all around. Uh, putting magic on it. <laughs> Boy. Quincy don't give a damn no more. He said. He talk about Richard Pryor. He talk about goddamn Marlon Brando. They had goddamn fuck fest. All sausages. Nothing else. No dip. Nope. Nope. No dessert. Nope. Just full course beef. That's it. That's all they had. And y'all salute and praise these motherfuckers. And ain't about shit. Ain't about shit. Ain't about shit, man. <sighs> Giving these motherfuckers awards and accolades and shit. That's just like giving a goddamn pedophile a goddamn trophy. Every time he get the most shit, man, come on. What the fuck is y'all want? Yeah, he make good music. Cool. Cool. But y'all crucif crucify goddamn R. Kelly. Y'all crucify him. Yeah, Chris has been doing that shit since, since the goddamn 50s. Since the goddamn 50s. And it took Tupac to say something. That's in what, 96, 95? 
and we see what happened. Y'all crazy, man. Saluting these goddamn, these goddamn pedophiles and goddamn secret booty bashers. I don't get it. I don't get it. Y'all salute them every goddamn time. He don't give a damn about y'all. Anybody that could let a voice like Tevin Campbell's be on the street like that, suck a dick for money? That's an evil motherfucker right there. That's a devilish motherfucker. Because you know the devil runs the industry. Right? We know this. He was the entertainer. And, 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 and here it is. He's being played out in this motherfucker, Quincy. How the fuck, how the fuck does he go from all them goddamn songs in his prime, his voice still good, but he on Sunset Boulevard sucking dick? That's not the way that he, God intended his mouth to be used, man. That, that's not how he intended it to be. Man, riding around with you old niggas. And he got them 12 and 13 and y'all showing him all kind of crazy shit. That's where Puffy got that flavor camp shit from. He had, he had a talk with Quincy. Man. I'm gonna just ship your kid off to a goddamn somebody called a flavor camp. Hell, nigga, my mom would have kicked that goddamn door in. Fuck kind of flavor in here. I said, I'm not gonna no goddamn flavor camp. <laughs> nigga, please. I don't care how much you I don't care how much you make. I don't care how much you giving him. He getting the fuck up out of here? Fuck around, pistol whip you. Nigga, yeah. flavor camp. Drinking, drinking goddamn liquor in the corner of the building. And you 13. Might as well be on the goddamn streets. At least you would have had your manhood. Right? Boy, I don't understand what Quincy do, but he organizes, man. Just think about him, just think back into the people he worked with and follow their stories. And you'll find the goddamn truth. And it's gonna be something you never wanted to think about. Um, Professor Griff said it too, over and over. Nobody listen. Nobody listen. Y'all got him crazy. Quincy, you a nasty, dirty dick motherfucker, man. Word. Nasty as shit, bro. You could have you helped that young kid, man. You were supposed to be his goddamn mentor. All he all you do is pass him around to people. Okay, I'm going to book y'all for, uh, for um, Tevin for the next week. You'll be booked for the next week, Tevin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knows exactly what to do. Hey, come on, man. Y'all that cold? Evil motherfuckers. <sighs> Nasty ass old niggas. It's out there, man. Common sense.